The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the princess, Hari. And at a combined weight of 420 pounds, Sarah and Rick Q. Weapons of Mass Destruction. This is it, tag team action underway here, guys. These superstars are about to put on a clinic in tag team competition, guys. That's how good they are. Uh-oh. I don't think he's got it completely locked in. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Michael. Oh, going up to the top rope. All the way crashing down. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE Locker Room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. That's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. Looking at it here. He's starting to stagger a bit. His tag team match can get out of hand quickly if he doesn't mount an offense soon. It looks to me like his partner's itching oh. to get in there. And now might be how to do that. I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalia's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. 
If a team can win the first ball, that sets the tone for the rest of the match, and your opponents are playing catch-up. The two out of three falls match that saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss Cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. Cutting it close here, guys. What a coward. He's trying to get himself counted out, Cole. What a slam! Impactful. It'll jar your spine. He's not looking good here. If they want to win this oh, match, man. he really needs to make a tag soon. He needs a breather in a bad way right now. If he could just make it to his corner and make the tag. Guys, I wasn't anticipating this type of performance for him tonight. He's starting to look a little lost in there right now. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Oof. Here he goes. This might not have been a wise move for him here, Michael. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. Oh, man. Backbreaker. When this guy's on, look out. Punch impact. This one is over. He's got him covered. There's the kick out. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Hooked up. Tag Team History was made when the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions were crowned at Backlash 2016. The unlikely duo of Rhino and Heath Slater caught lightning in a bottle and ran through the Tag Team Title Tournament. In the finals, Rhino and Slater took on the Usos to see which team would be the inaugural Tag Team Champions. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can attest that this is no different. There was a lot on the line in the Tag Team Tournament Finals. The Usos wanted to add another Tag Team title reign to their resume and enjoyed the recognition of being the first ever SmackDown Tag Team Champions. The team of Rhino and Heath Slater was the team no one expected to be. I think we know what this is. Face Buster! I'm not sure how much he has left. A trip to... No, he kicks out. Nicely done. Wow. Brutal knee right to the face. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, nasty impact. This could be all she wrote. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed. Beautiful technique. But he's got to capitalize now. The shoulders are down. And a kick out. Yeah, it's going to take more than that to keep him down. Talk about having the living hell beat out of you. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. Clearly, they're both running on fumes right now. And at this point, it might just be a matter of which superstar's tank reaches empty first. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the re counter here. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Bomb. He might have. You gotta believe this one's over. Incredible. He's starting to look beaten, guys. Unless this thing turns around here, this tag team match is all but over. I'm not sure he has much left. Let's not write him off yet. Remember, he's a what a strike. But can he follow up here? One of the great eight a pin attempt. One.
Oh boy, he is rolling. Tagged in. Some of his speed there. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. Nope, reverses it. What a clothesline! Ouch! Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. He's too quick for him there. This might be big. He caught him slipping. What's he got in mind? Watch this here. Nailed it. Now with complete control. Caught off guard. What's he going to do with it? Now in full control. And it's reversed. He's looking at it. This might be it. Oh, my. Can he finish the job? Two. This one is over. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. This was another great moment. I remember this part very well. He ain't messing around. He was on point the entire match, as you can see here. Here are your winners, Lightning and Matt E. R. The good guys. An amazing contest comes to a close following a decisive pinfall victory. When you